In this video, we're going to learn how to add push notifications to your React Native Expo app using nativenotify.com. So your first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com and click this sign up button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. Once you do that, it's going to take you to a screen like this. You're gonna to wanna to click this create an app button. I've already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my app. Um, now I had a previous video uh, where we went through steps one through seven. This will get uh, push notifications working on an iOS app, the iOS portion of the app. Uh, if you haven't watched that video already, uh, it should pop up right around here. Um, make sure to click on that, uh, that video. Watch that video first. It takes you through these uh, first seven steps. Um, this video is focused on an eighth step. So to get push notifications working for Android, uh, there's a few extra steps. And uh, we're going to go through those steps together in this video. So uh, first thing you need to do is after you've gone through steps one through seven, uh, now you're on to step eight. This is just for Android. Um, you go ahead and click this link here. And we'll go through this together. This um, is how you get Firebase set up for Android. You need a Firebase cloud messaging account uh, for push notifications to work with your uh, your Expo app. So we'll just go through this together. Step one, it says, if you haven't already, go to Firebase console and click add a project. So we'll do that together. Let me go back, actually. I'm gonna open this in a new tab so that I don't have to find this link again. Okay. All right, and once you create a Firebase account, it should take you to a place like this. It can be found at console.firebase.google.com. Uh, you click add a project, add project. This can be named whatever you want. It doesn't really matter what it's called. So I'm gonna call this uh, native notify for Android. Uh, you can decide if you would like Google Analytics added to your project or not. I'm just going to say not and click create project. If you are interested in analytics, nativenotify.com actually has our own analytics. Uh, it's super simple. You just have to paste uh, like one line of code into your app and analytics will work. It's a much simpler process than uh, Google Firebase Analytics. All right, so once you've created your project, all you're worried about is this Android button here. You wanna to go to Android? All right, and let's follow this, these steps together. Um, so it says, make sure your Android package name is the same as uh, the package name you've given it in your app.json file. Um, so if you have not done this already, uh, we'll do this together. You should have an app.json file if this is an Expo app. Down here, there's, uh, it says Android. We need to create a package name here in this Android object. Put quotation marks, say package. Okay, and then uh, you can do more quotation marks. I'll just say um, native.notify.android. I'll just say that, native.notify.android. Oh, and you need to put a comma after this or it will break it. All right, so that's how you name your app with uh, Android. Go ahead and copy that. It's very important that this is the same as uh, this package name here is the same name as uh, the project. So come back here where it says Android package name, paste that name here and give it a nickname. I'm not interested in doing that. Okay, and this part is really important. Download this Google Dash Services 
dot json. Okay, and you're going to want to put this somewhere easily accessible. So I'm just going to drag this to my desktop right here. You want to go ahead and click next. Don't need to worry about all this stuff. Um, Expo did it for you. Uh, you can click continue to console. All right, so it should take you to a screen like this. You'll want to go back to um, your app and you want to just drag this to the root of your folder. Just drag it right there. Okay. And now you can exit out of Google Dash services. You want to stay in this app.json file. So it says in this Android object in your app.json file, you're going to want to copy this so that you can reference that Google services.json file. So in again, in your app.json file, go here where it says, it can be anywhere in this Android object. I'm going to put it under packages or under package. Just paste that right there. This lets um, this this lets your app know to reference this Google services.json file um, to get push notifications working for Android. All right. Um, and we will go to this part. It says there's two options, EAS build platform, uh, Android. You can skip that, go, go to this other part here where it says Expo build Android. Come to your terminal, paste that there. Okay, and something like this might pop up. It says choose the build type you would like. Uh, say APK, then it asks, uh, would you like to upload a key store or have us generate one for you? Uh, if you don't know what this means, let us generate it. Just let them generate it. Go ahead and click enter, generate the key for you. All right, and once you get to this where it says build queued, that means you're done. So you can go ahead and move on. All right, so you can skip this bear projects. If you're using Expo manage workflow, you don't have to worry about this, but you do need to worry about this uploading server credentials. Um, so what, it, what you need here is your cloud um, server key. So we'll, we'll go through these steps together. It says to look for a gear icon. What it's talking about is this right here. So click on this gear icon, click project settings. So you'll want to go to cloud messaging. This is the server key that you're looking for. This long key right here. Let's, let's go back. What you do want to copy is this expo push uh, Android and copy all the way up to where it says API key. Come back here paste that here and then this is where we need that uh that server key so go back to your firebase project copy this token this key come back here to your terminal paste that right there click enter and there you go it says it's all done so now officially uh, if you have followed all of these steps, steps one through eight, you're officially done. Your uh, push notifications are ready to go for both iOS and Android.